DIY video because I posted a DIY phone cases video last week and you guys went crazy in the comments like loving that video. So I was like, I'm gonna come back with another DIY this week. So in today's video, I'm back with five really awesome DIY choker ideas. So if you guys don't wanna go out and spend like $20 on a choker, read out all these chokers I made for like under $5 each. So if you don't have a lot of money, I got you. I honestly feel like these chokers turned out really cool, but if you guys do like seeing DIY videos, make sure to give the video a massive thumbs up for me. And if you guys want to see more DIY videos, I'll make sure to leave a link to my favorite DIYs playlist that I've got on my channel because I've made a lot of DIY videos. So if you guys want to see them all in one place, check the links down below. In my last video, you guys were being so freaking sweet. You were like all complimenting me on my new hair because I am starting to like lighten my hair up a little bit. I had so many comments that were like, oh my gosh, Sarah, did you change your hair? What the heck? But yes, I have started lightening my hair. So that makes me really inspired to want to know what color your hair is. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what color your hair is. But anyway, hopefully you guys like the video. And if you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on new videos every single week. And also, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure to head over and check out my Instagram account. My handle is at Sarah Daybets. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I thought I would start off with my favorite choker that I made. So all you're gonna need is some jump rings. You can get these off like eBay and Amazon for super cheap, like a few dollars for like a hundred of these. And then you're also gonna need some ribbon and some pliers, but I don't know about you guys, I've always had a pair of pliers in my laundry cabinet. So hopefully you guys have a pair of these too. I don't even know what you use them for other than making jewelry. But anyway, all you wanna do to make the choker though is take your pliers and just open up each of the jump rings with your pliers and then just like loop it on. So you're kind of making like a jump ring like chain and you want to keep going until you've like can wrap it around your neck nearly so you just want to keep doing that opening up your jump rings with your pliers and then obviously like closing them up too and then you have a jump ring chain and you can just take some ribbon and you just want to loop it through the last jump ring so the ones on the end and that's basically how you're gonna tie up your choker which is super cool because that way you don't have to worry about putting little clasps on it so you can clip it up you can just tie it up so it's super easy and super affordable To the next choker, this one is super, super easy and you only need like two things. So all you're gonna need is a bandana and you're also gonna need some of this like ribbon that has like gems slash diamonds on them. You can buy it in the craft store. I just bought like half a meter of it, which was way too much. So first things first, all you wanna do is work out how much of the gem strip you're gonna need. So basically tie up your bandana around your neck and basically the amount of bandana that goes around your neck until it meets the knot is how long you need your gem strip to be. So once you work that out, you can just cut it down the size. And I actually decided to even trim my down so it wasn't so thick. Also, I probably should have mentioned that you could totally go in and use some of those like little gem pieces that people use to like bedazzle the back of their phone cases. That would totally work as well. But I just decided to go in for the gem strip because I felt like it would be way easier. And then I just went in and glued it all together with some hot glue, which probably isn't the best choice of glue, but I really just wanted it to dry super quick. So I'll let you guys know how it holds up. It probably wouldn't be as good as if I used like something more heavy duty, but that's the DIY. It turned out to be actually the quickest DIY ever. Like it actually took me like five minutes, which I was pretty happy with. is one of my faves. All you're gonna need is some ribbon and some thread and then lastly you just need some of these like coins but they're like kind of like beaded coins. I don't really know if that makes sense but I'm sure you guys get what I mean. And first things first, all you want to do is cut down a piece of ribbon. You just want to cut it down super long because you can trim it down at the end. It'd be way better to have a super long piece of ribbon and then a really short one and feel like you have to take your choker apart and start again. But the first thing that you want to do is just start by threading on the beads onto your piece of ribbon which I actually am super surprised that I managed to nail because I am not good at sewing. I remember my mom tried to teach me how to sew once and I'm like, I just don't get this. Sorry, mom. 
But anyway, you just keep sewing on queens until you've got it completely covered enough to wrap around your neck. This will probably take you like a little while, like 45 minutes. So like sit down, watch a show. I've literally just finished watching How to Get Away with Murder and I'm super like, I just need to watch more episodes. But comment down below letting me know what your favorite show is because I feel like I've honestly watched all of Netflix. I mean, as much as I should probably get out and like explore, I kind of just want to watch like every single TV show that's ever been made. So let me know which one's your fave. But anyway, back to the Joker. All I did was left some uh, like free ribbon at the end of all the queens and I just tied it up at the back instead of putting like a clasp at the back because I can't even get the clasp done up or undone anyway. To the next trick, uh, it's super, super easy to make and you guys have probably seen these in stores but I thought I'd make them because it's so much cheaper to make these than to actually buy these. So all you need is some black thread and you're also gonna need some gold or silver nail polish or you could totally go for a color too if you wanted. But basically you just wanna tie it in a bow around your neck and then you can just like trim it down to however long you want it. So I just went for like this like medium length. You can totally go for super long or super short, whatever you wanna do. And then I feel like when you buy these trickers in store, they're like $20 but that's that's because they've got like that little metal tip on each end of the choker. So what I was thinking is you can totally take some gold or silver nail polish to finish it off and make it look like you paid $20 for it. But you're totally winning it because you didn't. You just use nail polish. And if you've already got the nail polish, that's even better because I already had it. So all I paid for was the thread, which was like a dollar anyway. So winning. <laughs> I thought I'd show you guys how easy it is to make chokers out of ribbon and fabric and how you can totally switch it up and just make them out of anything. So all you're gonna need is some lobster clasps, you're also gonna need some ribbon clamps, and lastly, you're gonna need some jump rings. So you can buy all of this stuff on like eBay or Amazon or in a craft store. I'm pretty sure you can even get this stuff in a dollar store too, which is good because like cheap is what we aim for. So I just went in and picked some really cute like embroidered flower print ribbon, which I thought was super awesome. It's kind of like trendy at the moment too because like embroidered things are like super popular. The first thing that I did though was went in and sized up my piece of ribbon so I just wrapped it around my neck and I just actually did it a little bit shorter than the actual width of my neck and then I went in and clamped on some of my ribbon clamps. So you just want to clamp them down with a pair of pliers and you just want to put one on either end of your piece of ribbon. So this is basically what we're going to attach the clasp to which is super awesome because you need to be able to do it up somehow. So I just went in and clamped them both down with a pair of pliers and then I took some jump rings and put those on either end as well so I just opened them up with a pair of pliers because I'm weak. And lastly, all that's left to do is attach a lobster clasp to your jump ring and then you can clip it up super easy, which by the way, I did not realize that these were called lobster clasps until like 20 seconds ago, like right before I filmed this video. And I was like, what the heck? That's so random. Anyway, so now you can turn any piece of ribbon or fabric or whatever into a choker that's gonna look super cute. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it and leave me a comment down below letting me know which one was your favorite choker. I think you guys can tell which one mine was. And while you're down in the comments, don't forget to let me know what color your hair is because you guys know me, I'm nosy. If you guys are super bored right now, I'm gonna leave a link to my like favorite DIYs playlist so you guys can go check it out. Maybe you're really bored. But anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. If you haven't subscribed or given this video a thumbs up, make sure to do so. And if you're not following me on Instagram, this is my handle. This is what my Instagram feed looks like. I don't know what this little Instagram dance is. <laughs>